Gingerbread Man Cookies Recipe by Elise No cookie says Christmas more than a gingerbread man cookie. It's been 30 years since I last made gingerbread men and it took all weekend to get this recipe right. After starting with a truly terrible recipe from a 1974 edition of The Joy of Cookie, I settled on this recipe, which makes some rather tasty cookies. After running around to several stores looking for the perfect gingerbread man cookie cutter and getting nowhere, I created my own stencil, see below. To use them, you may want to enlarge the stencils, print them out, and fold them in half lengthways to make it easy to cut along the lines. Place the stencil over the rolled up dough and use a small sharp knife to cut along the inside of the stencil. Ingredients 3 and 1 fourth cups sifted all-purpose flour 3 fourths teaspoon baking soda 3 fourth cup unsalted butter 1 half cup dark brown sugar, packed 1 tablespoon ground ginger 1 tablespoon ground cinnamon 1 half teaspoons ground cloves one half teaspoon ground nutmeg, one fourth teaspoon finely ground black pepper, one half teaspoon salt, one large egg, one half cup molasses, optional raisins, chocolate chips, candy pieces, frosting, royal icing, one egg white, one half teaspoon lemon juice, one and three fourth cup con convections sh convections sh confectioner's sugar. Number one, in a large bowl, sift together flour, baking soda, and spices. Set aside. Number two, in an electric mixer fitted with the padded paddle attachment, cream the butter. Add sugar and beat until fluffy. Mix in eggs and molasses. Gradually add the flour mixture, combine on low speed. You may need to work it with your hands to incorporate the last bit of flour. Divide dough in thirds. Wrap each third in plastic. Chill for at least one hour or overnight. Before rolling out, let sit at room temperature for five to ten minutes. If after refrigerating the dough feels too soft to roll out, work in a little more flour. Number three, heat oven to 350 degrees. Place a dough third on a large piece of lightly floured parchment paper or wax paper. Using a rolling pin, roll dough one eighth inch thick. Refrigerate again for five to 10 minutes to make it easier to cut out the cookies. Use either a cookie cutter or place a stencil over the dough and use a knife to cut into desired shapes. Press raisins, chocolate chips, or candy pieces in the center of each cookie if desired for buttons. Number four, transfer to ungreased baking sheets. Make until, bake until crisp but not darkened eight to 10 minutes. Remove from oven. Let sit a few minutes and then use a metal spatula to transfer cookies to a wire rack to cool completely. Decorate as desired. Make 16 five inch long cookies. Royal icing. The traditional way to make royal icing is to beat egg whites and lemon juice together, adding the powdered sugar until the mixture holds stiff peaks. With modern concern, without with modern concerns about salmonella with raw eggs, you can either use powdered egg whites or heat the egg whites first to kill any bacteria. With the heating method, mix the egg whites and lemon juice with a third of sugar. Heat in the microwave until the mixture's temperature is 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then remove the micro remove from microwave and beat in the remaining sugar until stiff 
peaks form. Using the powdered egg whites method, combine one teaspoon, tablespoon egg white powder with two tablespoons of water. Proceed as you would otherwise. If the icing is too runny, add more powdered sugar until you get the desired consistency. Fill a piping bag with the icing to pipe out into different shapes. Or use a plastic sandwich bag and the tip of one corner of the bag cut off. Keep the icing covered while you work with it, while you work with it, or it will dry out.